from Purple Bandidos. Welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Omega Ruby version. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time we continued the legendary hunting. Today, as I mentioned, we are going to be going after the Swords of Justice. And now this one actually requires a small explanation. It's actually took me a very long time to, you know, actually hunt these down and catch them. These are probably the most time-consuming ones that you're going to have to find. And we're actually going to make our way to a little secret island. It's just south of Pacific Log Town, and it's called the Pathless Plain. We just flew over it. Now, it's here in the Pathless Plain that we can find the three legendary Pokemon. Now, Kabalion can only be captured on Sundays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Terrakion can be captured on Tuesdays and Saturdays. And Virizion can be captured on Mondays and Thursdays. And as I've mentioned to you guys before, you can't rig the game and you can't change the clock because if you change the clock somehow Nintendo has some cameras inside of your house that knows that you cheated will make you have to wait like a 24 hour period and you won't be able to go after these Pokemon so I highly suggest you don't use cheats and you just try your best to catch them to the best of your ability so the first one we're up against is Verizion and now before we get going any further I know if I my voice sounds a little bit weird it's because I'm sick I caught another cold I don't know how I keep catching these colds you know, they just, they magically send them to me in the mail or something. I'm sure there's a conspiracy there behind it. Uh, but yeah, I'm sick again, but I wanted to make sure, you know, since today is Tuesday, you can imagine who the last one of the Swords of Justice was that I caught. Uh, and I, I would have done it sooner, but I've just been feeling kind of crappy. Uh, but I wanted to knock it out because we're actually getting so close to wrapping up this game. Now, with this one, uh, with this legendary trio, all that's really left is Cresselia. And then all the trade over legendary Pokemon. Uh, by that, I mean, like, you know, we have to trade over, I think, Palkia or Dialga or whatever it is. And like Reshiram and Zekrom. Those types of Pokemon, we have to trade them over in order to be able to catch uh, all the Pokemon that remain. So I think from the ones that remain, there are actually, I think it's Kyrim. Uh, then there's, I think I have to catch Landorus. And that, that's about it. There's not a whole lot left, guys. So we're almost done here with this game. And I think Giratina. Giratina was the only other one. So we have about three legendaries left. And then just Cresselia. Whenever I find Cresselia. And I did take your guys' suggestions. And I've been looking for the Mirage Spots. Uh, with the Mirage Spots, you know, you activate the Street Pass or whatever it is. Uh, and if you finally turn it on, you can get different Mirage Spots every day in the mailbox. And that's what I've been doing. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to catch Cresselia soon. And you know, once we have Cresselia, the other three legendaries, we have the Elite Four. And we are done with this game, which is going to be very exciting. I'm just ready for the rematch with the Elite Four already. And there's just way too many legendaries in this game. I could not imagine, you know, going through this again and just catching them all. I don't think when I began this, I realized how many legendaries there were actually going to be. And it's just an insane amount. Uh, and these are just the ones that I can catch, you know, with your guys' help. So we'll see where we go from there. Uh, I'm just excited to get it going. All right, as you can see, I lowered Verizion down. One of the problems with Verizion is that he's got this Giga Drain thing. Uh, so he's just constantly going to keep draining our energy. So it's going to be good if you're using your Pokemon with False Swipe. Keep it out. Consistently keep going with the False Swipe. Or I don't really know how the heck you're going to catch this Pokemon uh, other than that. If you don't have a Pokemon with False Swipe, this is probably the most annoying one. Only other strategy I can think of is maybe using Yawn. I don't know. Something of that sort. And we're actually... There we go. Is this, this is one of our first Ultra Balls we're actually throwing at it. And let's hope... No way. Okay. Okay. I, we might have caught it there on the first. I'm not sure what the percentage of catching these is. But maybe... Maybe just maybe. You know, we will be able to catch it. You never know. Uh, we're actually really low. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and heal up. I think Elric is going to have to stay out for a majority of this fight. Because I don't want to be having to swap Pokemon as often. I'd rather just have the one out that's going to be using false swipes and, you know, these certain moves consistently. Let's go for another Ultra Ball, though. I think we're looking quite good. All right, cross your fingers, guys. Let's hope that this is it. Maybe it will be. Maybe we'll get really lucky. You never know. No, I'll be back when we catch it. There we have it, guys. Finally, Verizion was caught. Definitely one of the hardest catches yet. It took a really long time. It drained my Pokeballs. It really lowered it down. And I don't really know how many more I have left. But I'm probably going to have to buy a few more. 
But with that, we went ahead and caught Virizion. So let's see what it has to say about it. It's uh, heads, head sprouts, horns as sharp as blades, using whirlwind like movement to confound and swiftly cuts opponents. Uh, and with that, we are ready to send this bad boy to the PC. Let's think of a nickname for it. You know, what's what's something that works, guys? I, I think I like this one. Uh, yeah, this, this makes a little bit of sense. Maybe you guys will understand where I'm coming from. Not too hard. With that, we're going to call it Whirl and Whirl has been transferred to the PC. All right, next up is another Pokemon, so I'll be back in three seconds in two or three days from now, actually. Okay, guys, so we are back here in the Pathless Plane, and we are ready to catch another one of these legendary Swords of Justice. Let's see which one is going to be up now. Kind of exciting that they mix it up every day, and by excited, I mean a little frustrating, because you have to wait a lot of time before you can keep catching them. You can't just catch them at once, get it done and over with. You actually have to have a little bit of patience. I lack patience a lot. I'm a very impatient person, and with that, Cobalion has appeared. Same old strategy. We're going to paralyze it. We're going to weaken it down. Hope you guys are having an enjoyable day, uh, catching legendary Pokemon in time intervals and just messes up your daily schedule. You know what I'm saying? You don't really know what you're going to do. It's like waking up, I'm going to catch this legendary. I had to be on at 8 to catch this other one, the Lake Trio, the Swords of Justice. It's, it's a whole lot of crazy shenanigans. If you guys have done this, I think you know what I mean. Meanwhile, we're sitting here flying back and forth trying to look for Cresselia, Mirage, Mirage spotting, looking for these things. Uh, really, Nintendo could have simplified things. You know, you could have really just left them hidden. I would have done a couple puzzles, pushed a couple boulders, gone up a couple waterfalls, dug a couple holes, used Flash. Just kidding. Nobody uses Flash. If you use Flash, I don't even know, man. I, it, it must be Gen 1. You must be playing Gen 1 if you still use Flash. All right, Cobalion's paralyzed. Oh, man, I forgot to use the freaking Quick Ball again. I always seem to forget using the Quick Ball. I don't know what it is. I think I'm just so used to just going to a battle, automatically parallelizing a Pokemon, that I just don't think much of <gasps> Oh my goodness, we caught it on the first ball with that, guys. Cobalion was caught. Sweet. Wow. Very, very lucky on us. Thank you. I didn't have enough Pokeballs left. Thank you, Arceus. Thank you up there. Thank you. I'm running out of Ultra Balls. Thank you. You know we don't have a lot of Poke Dollars up in here these days. And there's like a hundred legendaries. I gotta conserve the money. It has a body and heart of steel. Its glare is sufficient to make even an unruly Pokemon obey it. So with that, we got Cobalion. And we just got extremely lucky. You know, maybe maybe the RNG of the game is telling me that I can, uh, you know, save up a little money. You know, hey, you've been having a hard time with the money situation here. And uh, hey, with the Ultra Balls, I, I dropped 100k that I found in the treasure chest on the Ultra Balls. You know, maybe they're just going to have my back. So with that, we're going to go ahead and call it something simple, something nice. I'm sure this will make sense to you guys. We're going to call it Heart because the game, maybe deep down there, has some sort of heart that did good to me, that was nice to me, that gave me the RNG. I'll be back in a few days to catch the final Pokemon. Terrakion. So here we have it, guys. It's the dawn of the final day. 12 hours remain. 24 hours remain. This is it. This is the Terrakion movement. So let's go ahead and open up the portal. And we are finally ready to go and catch this Pokemon on its way. So let's see what it's going to bring us. With that, Terrakion has appeared. And let's get it going, guys. About time. Same old strats, same old things. And right, let's just see what this adventure will bring us. After this, I think it's going to be easy breezy. You know, especially if you guys want to be real nice. And, you know, if you want to slip me a couple Master Balls, that would make the process really, really easy. And we could probably catch, like, all the legendaries that are left in a very easy, nice go. I don't know how you're going to have Master Balls laying around, but if you do and you want to send me a Master Ball, by all means, shoot a tweet at me, leave a comment, let me get one of your Master Balls, because I don't want to have to deal with catching the stronger legendary Pokemon. That would be nice, you know, if we could just get them out in one go, do a little training, knock out the Elite Four, that would be fun, because catching legendary Pokemon makes you crazy. You know, it literally drives your mind to places you don't want it to go. It makes you start going nuts and you have no idea you get frustrated catching pokemon if you crit one too much it just 
defend you in a rage. You know, the usual, the usual. Like, you know, eventually you start counting the ticks on the Ultra Balls and you just, you're doing weird, like, you know, things with your hand, thinking you're like a Jedi to the 3DS. Yeah, these are legit reactions that I've had. Like, sometimes I get so frustrated, I'll feel like, you know, some weird Pokemon Jedi power is with me, and I see the triple ticks on the Ultra Balls, and, you know, you put your hand over it, and you think, you know, this is the one time that it's gonna work, this is the one time, and then you just, you know, you somehow put some of your energy into it, and you just make it work. I don't know, I actually, you know, I did that a few times, uh, I literally just threw the Ultra Ball, and I put my hand up, and I just started, you know, visualizing the three ticks, and then I just put some energy into it, and wow! With that, we actually caught Terrakion! Wow! Congratulations, guys! Somehow it worked! That, that was the third? Second? Third? Second? Second Ultra Ball? Very nice! Oh, thank goodness. I have enough Ultra Balls left. Like, 10 to 11 Ultra Balls, maybe? To catch another Legendary Pokemon? Woo! High fives! That was actually pretty decent. Finally, its charge is strong enough to break through a giant castle wall in one blow. This Pokemon is spoken of in Legends. And with that, we have finally caught Terrakion, the last of the Swords of Justice. Not counting that fourth little horse one that I don't remember what it's called. It just doesn't come to mind right now. With that, we're going to go ahead and give it a nickname. Pretty simple one. You guys will understand it. We're going to call it Cast for Castle because it hid in the castle. There we go. With that, we are done here with the legendary Pokemon. And next up, we are up to either Cresselia or the three, the big three with the trading and the, you know, the communication and the hopefully you guys giving me a couple Master Balls, which would be absolutely awesome, which would be really nice of you guys. It would make this a heck of a lot of a lot easier. All right, guys. With that, we are done here for today. So if you guys have any tips on what's coming up, let me know. Make sure to give this video a like. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.